Hello and welcome back to Prison Architect. We are here on a large plot of land and hopefully we can make something happen here because I don't think I've ever built anything on this land before. And not, I don't mean this land, I mean a large piece of land. I usually stick with smaller medium. So this is going to be a first. I think I actually did my pseudo -al uh, Alcatraz on a large, but I only took up like a little piece of the map and left out this entire other area so this is gonna be something else this is gonna be something else and we are also on alpha 15 so I think I'm gonna just go ahead and mention the major changes uh, nothing too in detail for that I think I will add on the official video for the uh, developers in the description so please if you want to check out the full list of changes go and look at their video and that will be in the description but other than that I'm just going to quickly mention the major changes they added so first of all I want to mention is BAM super speedy speed mode I think uh, before we only had uh, I think slow the triple dots right there slow normal and fast of course pause but now we have fast normal fast faster so that's good and another thing is they did also add edge scrolling so if you mouse over to the edge bam you can scroll uh, what else did they add oh yes they added new room and that is for the staff the staff lounge area and for my other prisons I did have like a lounge area for uh, the staff however it was not functional so I guess those will be functional now so that's good and along with that they also added new objects to fit into that room as well and we will be looking at those later on in the future but other than that I don't think there's any other major changes I could remember on top of my head oh yes 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 if we go on to the actual menu, uh, they modified this area as well. So we could go on to extras and bam, now there's the name of the game, Steam Workshop Mods. That's another thing right there. So they have a mods area now where we can actually put mods into a folder and it should show up here with nice little graphics. And we could actually apply them or deactivate them as needed. And those could include like scenarios, uh, grants, maybe modifications to textures, things of that nature. So that's a good addition they made, I, I think. So let's put this on the fasty, fast, fast speed mode. And uh, I think I forgot. Yes, I did forget something. I actually forgot to grab a name for this prison. So I think after... Uh, this episode, I'm just going to go ahead and put them onto a piece of paper or something. Grab one by random. And it, you should see it right here, right now. You should see the name of the prison right over here where I boxed right now. And I apologize that I missed that. But thank you to Mr. Person in the Box over here for suggesting the name. And thank you to everyone else who has also suggested names as well. It is much appreciated. I love the support. And it's always interesting to read through uh, various names. just gives me more ideas and things like that. But let's move on now. Let us move on. Okay, so what are we going to do here? What are we going to do? I think initially we got to do some type of wall so let's go ahead and put a wall let's still go three blocks away from the edge so let's work from here I think this is a good place to start working from and over here let's just do uh, three blocks from the edge okay and three blocks from the edge and that should make us a nice little square and how are we gonna do this hmm how shall we do this I don't know what type of prison I really want to make. I think I'm going to center this all up and make a main corridor that moves down through here. And I'm going to divide this up into four sections. One area will be for the 
quote unquote residential, which will be the prison cells. And another area will be purely for industrial purposes. So the uh, factories and things like that. Uh, what am I trying to say? Workshop, laundry, sorts, uh, sort, sort of that stuff right there. And another area will be uh, for offices. So we could call that business. And that's going to contain the office, common room, things like that. The office lounge, I should say, not the common room because that is for the prisoners. But that's going to be located in one area. And then the last area, I think I will make it into the public, public space, should I call it that? Um, yeah, I guess I could call it public. And that's going to be like the yard and the common room. And those areas will be uh, adjusted for size accordingly. Like, I think my largest will probably be most likely the uh, cells and things like that. And for the cell design, I think I'm going to go with small pods. And each pod is going to hold eight, let's say eight uh, cells. And we're going to have a common shower room. So we're going to have like a public shower room in the middle of those pods. And I hope it's going to turn out the way I imagine it. And I don't think I'm going to do anything fancy like circles or anything like I did for a previous prison. I'm just going to go simple straight edge lines so that's the initial plan and i think i'm going to stop talking right now and we're going to go straight into a uh, hardcore planning mode so until the end of the video i will see you guys soon
And we are back. I know it looks a little bland. Well, it looks a lot bland, and I may make adjustments later on in the future. But I believe we have all the necessary buildings we have, and I did cut them into uh, four different zones. So let's start with uh, up here, and then we can go on to not objects but rooms. So we have all our individual cells over here, each one can hold 10. And then I had to sacrifice one of them to turn into a holding cell because I neglected to add one. So there's that. And if we move on to the canteen, or actually we should go to the solitary next. So we have the cell and the holding cell covered. Solitary is actually located down over here under the industrial zone. The canteen and the kitchen. We have a large area for the canteen and uh, we have a fairly large kitchen which is attached to the uh, storage actually so right there but if we move on to the center of this entire residential area we have a community shower right in the middle so hopefully all the prisoners will have good access to showers right in the middle and we should have enough uh, showers for the entire prison I'm not too sure I didn't really count it out but there's that and then the yard we have a fairly large yard this is gonna be like a uh, national park if you will and there's gonna be various pathways going around the park and this is gonna be aimed at like a uh, minimum security uh, village style or community style prison so like I said it's gonna be separated into uh, different zones residential business industrial and the public area uh, not too sure what to call that but there's that so we talked about the storage array delivery garbage is outside like usual execution we're not gonna have workshop are these four buildings right down here so hopefully we get a lot of people working and then off uh, not office security I'm not too sure why where I want to place security I think I'm gonna have to modify this area to accommodate security and offices each a uh, person is going to have their own building, so that's going to be something. So they're each going to have their own building. I may adjust it, you know, make it look a little bit nicer, but I'm planning to put like a patch of grass here so the buildings are starting to progress, and clearly the largest one is for the warden. But like I said, we may change this entire layout in the future. I'm not quite sure yet. And if we move on to the laundry, these two rooms up here reserved, that's for the laundry. So as close as possible to the cells but they're gonna have a long walk to get to well one end to the other so I'm not too sure how that's gonna work clean cupboard we're just gonna have two of them these two large areas over here are for cleaning and then followed by the kennel which is gonna be located in the uh, business area so right down there staff room uh, located here as well and the common room we have three common rooms one's gonna be for a uh, pool so pool tables only, TVs only, and a library. And I know the library is not going to really have a function, but I'm going to add that anyways, just because I can. 
And did I mess up the space in here? Uh, no, it looks okay. And we have a nice little room for the visitation right beside the park, so it looks nice and presentable. So I think that's it. We have a major artery, I want to call it, so the main highway leading from the front of the prison to the rear. And then we have a major uh, secondary roads that separate uh, these different zones. So here's one zone, second, and then another one that separates this area and this area. And this is sort of like a smaller road separating the main industrial area from the secondary industrial area. And I think that's about it. I know this prison looks a lot less uh, detailed and I think uh, I'm gonna change that in the future hopefully maybe move some buildings around just to make it look a little bit more presentable but again this is my first attempt at a large plot of land so I might get some I might need some time to get used to this uh, area and I'm not quite sure how to make it visually dense that's the problem I think what I should have done is actually uh, make a separate wall so there's a larger pathway for the internal but um, unfortunately I messed that up so that's something to consider however I think I'm gonna leave this like this for now I'm not completely satisfied with this prison um, I might end up just scrapping this entire thing and redesigning it for the next episode we'll see but for now I'm gonna leave this like it is uh, yeah, I'm torn. I really don't like this layout, actually. So, next episode, you might see this entire place, uh, place changed up. Or, maybe I'll just be lazy and just roll the punches and make this prison. But, eh, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. But, uh, for now, this is it. I just want to say thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And, of course, until next time... I will see you guys later.